Our next speaker has worked and volunteered in the mental health industry. And during that time, she heard many stories of the impact that mental health issues can have on people's lives. Particularly for young people, body image often comes up as a significant difficulty that exacerbates other issues or contributes to more severe mental health problems. These experiences and stories have driven her passion for research into how to make the lives of young people more positive. From the Faculty of Health, please welcome our next speaker, Anna Bridgetek. Raise your hand if you're 100% satisfied with your body. <laughs> As you can see, many of us struggle to accept the way we look. In fact, two thirds of us have at some point stopped doing something we valued simply because we felt badly about our body. The story of body image begins early. As young people become more aware of their self-image, and try desperately to attain a body they feel society approves of, physical appearance can become a source of extreme anxiety. This struggle can be overwhelming and isolating to the point that a 14-year-old looks in the mirror and dreads going to school because they hate what they see. Unfortunately, this story is reality. Two in every three girls and one in every three boys who turn to dieting, smoking, or even starving themselves in an attempt to control the way they feel about their body. However, not all young people who experience body dissatisfaction engage in such self-destructive behaviours. Therefore, the problem may not be with having negative thoughts, but rather the way in which young people respond to them. A key skill may be the ability to experience thoughts and feelings about the body and still participate in valuable activities, such as going swimming, with their friends. My PhD is investigating whether openly experiencing negative thoughts, rather than trying to change them through harmful strategies that actually create greater suffering, may help adolescents engage in healthier coping behaviours. To deepen our understanding of adaptive ways of responding, I am talking to young people about their experiences of coping with situations in which they um, they felt threatened within their body image. The themes identified are being used to develop a new measure of positive body image for youth, helping advance research in this critical area. I am then examining whether turning towards and accepting distressing thoughts actually protects against the harmful consequences of experiencing body image threats. Responding positively may empower young people so that even when they look in the mirror and feel dissatisfied, they can still go out and enjoy living a valuable life. My research could change how this young girl's story ends. 